way. <laughs> For Lady Edelgard. There's no stopping me. The closer we get, the denser the fog. I can barely make out my own feet. It will prove useful for Lord Lamont. As he possesses low numbers. The man will doubtless take any advantage of We need to find him before the kingdom does and take him into our protection. Lord Renato will surely be hiding in one of these strongholds awaiting rescue. The fog will provide cover, but not forever. We need to hurry. We're not really going to stumble our way through this suit, are we? I thought we had some sort of solution. Needs us. Lord Lonato's forces appear to be fighting a losing battle. We must help them if we can. Send whatever troops we can spare. Also be seeing us. Keep your wariness. No, not yet. What the? One blow on that conniving archbishop. Ha <laughs> ha 
Shelter deep in the eastern wood. Please hurry to him. We have our location. Let us not waste any time getting there. Forgive your fool of a father, Christoph, for he is soon to join you. Our effort on the Kingdom Front is sure to fail now. Location. Let us not waste any time getting there. Forgive your fool of a father, Christoph, for he is soon to join you. That's one task off the to-do list. Now we just have to deal with the kingdom. Our 
Our effort on the Kingdom Front is sure to fail now. The closer we get, the denser the fog. I can barely make out my own feet. Which will prove useful for Lord Lenato. As he possesses low numbers, the man will doubtless take any edge. We need to find him before the kingdom dies and take him into our protection. Lord Lenato will surely be hiding in one of these strongholds awaiting rescue. The fog will provide cover, but not forever. We need to hurry. We're not really going to stumble our way through this soup, are we? I thought we had some sort of solution. Hold strong, men! His lordship needs us! Lord Lenato's forces appear to be fighting a losing battle. We must help them if we can. Send whatever troops we can spare. Now we can see the enemy, but they can also be seeing us. Keep your wariness. Hey, I see a mage! Do you think he's responsible for all this fog? This fog lifts. Lord Lenato will have no one. My thanks for the rescue. One task off the to-do list. Then we just have to deal with the kingdom. You're done. Let's do this. So I live to see another day, do I? I knew the goddess wouldn't abandon us. I don't like how close we cut this, but I'm glad you're safe. Now we can focus on the rest of the fight. Now that Lord Ladonka was rescued, we can finally dispense with the magic. The fog has served out his purpose. It's a moment too soon. I doubt the caster could have sustained the spell much longer. Then you found Lord Lenato. Good. I will join the hunt. Starting the mission. Advance. <laughs> Thank you! You will pay in blood for invading the lands of Fargus! Bear 
Quick. Take a breather. Here it comes! You're done! That must hold strong for Lord Lenato. Is that all? It will take more than this. Out of the way! Not done yet! Being bested by the likes of you. How could you betray His Majesty Lenato? How could you do this to me? your adopted son, and family should not fight family. Let us persuade him to lay down his arms instead. That was tense! Oh, couldn't hurt. You're really in a tight spot here. Save them all. We did the best we could. Stop it, Ash. You're throwing your life away. Do you want Lord Lenato carrying that weight around for the rest of his life? I. No. You're right. I surrender. Forgive me, Ash. I beg you. I could not bear to lose another son. Our goal here is achieved. Now we hunt down any kingdom stragglers and... What? Your fun ends here. An enemy detachment. Put them to rout and make sure to keep Lord Lonato safe. The mercenaries have cut off their retreat. Now's our chance to get Lonato. Not good. I must help Lord Lonato. You again, is it? I see you fight for the Empire now. Just draw your weapon out there. You will make a score to settle. I better get in there instead of letting the kid do all the work. Count me in, Captain. I may be a new arrival, but no one can arrival my enthusiasm. Ignore the action team and target the enemy commander instead. Doing so will force them to retreat. I know we were told not to engage, but isn't this a great opportunity to see how much you've grown? Might be time for this. On to the next one. Well done.
Not a problem. I'm here to help. It is time. Such monstrous strength! Come then! Let us fight with honor! Wait, is that always? Since when did he quit the Knights of Saros? Guard this place with your life. Starting the mission. Providing. Yeah, all right. Watch this. <laughs> all I wanted was to land one blow on that conniving archbishop. Decide when we fall back.
I won't be the Stand one to drag my new comrades down. Mercenaries, retreat! Well done. We have kept his lordship safe. This victory will greatly further our conquest. Well, we did it. Yet you're still the saddest looking fighter in camp. Why the long face? Because we only barely got the job done. Everything else was a miserable failure. Sure, we saved Lenato and put Geralt and his mercenaries to rout. But we let the kingdom's troops get away in the process. And if that wasn't bad enough, I failed to beat the Ashen Demon. Basically, we lost in nearly every way you can lose. Wrong! You were hired to do a job, and you did it. And in the process, you've received a valuable reminder about the unique danger the Ashen Demon poses. You're right. I can't believe one fighter could turn the tide of an entire battle like that. Precisely. They're surely going to continue standing in our way, so do try to dig a little deeper the next time you square off. Then I guess my goal hasn't changed. Thanks for the encouragement. We must make haste. There's not a moment to lose. Understood. Randolph, take your troops to Orion Road and await further instruction from Hubert. Leave it to me, Your Majesty. Why is everyone so worked up? What happened? It seems the troops we stationed in the Alliance are in danger, and serious danger at that. Gloucester and the other lords betrayed them, and now they have been completely cut off. No! The word betrayal suggests they were on our side in the first place. But I think we can safely assume that was never their intent. This whole time, they were simply waiting for us to move the rest of our army toward the kingdom. As soon as they saw an opportunity, they cut off routes to the Great Bridge of Murden and Garrick Monk. Now that our troops are trapped on Alliance lands, House Regan and House Gloucester have them surrounded on both sides. It's doubtless one of Claude's clever little stratagems, and it stings. I don't understand. Everyone is aware of the troubled history between Regan and Gloucester. Why would they decide to bury the hatchet now? Unless... This supposed feud is little more than a web Claude has spun for this exact moment. Perhaps it is, but perhaps not. For all we know, he wants us to overthink the situation and make a greater mistake. We'd 
better stay on our toes. This all fell together too perfectly to be some kind of unhappy accident. I suppose. All I know is that our reinforcements will never make it there in time. The direct route east risks running into both Kingdom and Alliance forces. But if we attempt to skirt around them, we will all be aged in grey before we ever reach Gloucester. Which means our only option is marching south. We'll regroup on this side of the Aramid River, retake the Great Bridge of Murden to cover our backs, and then cut through the enemy cordon. That doesn't sound a whole lot faster. Will our troops be able to hold out that long? I would say no, but these are no ordinary soldiers. They are commanded by our greatest warrior, Count Leopold von Berglitz, the Minister of Military Affairs, and a man who has never lost even one battle. If anyone can rally our troops and convince them to hold, it's him. What a brilliant trap. The Regan boy's even craftier than they say. I agree, sir. Even Count Gloucester's adept army seems to be acting with remarkable discipline. But will the reinforcements reach us in time? Hmm. The real question is, are they coming at all? Because if they're on the way, they'll make it in time. So long as I draw breath, they will make it. So count on them coming. Her Majesty would never abandon us. Yes, sir. Soldiers of the Empire, I know fear gnaws at your hearts, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't run from this fear. Embrace it. Take measure of the enemy that surrounds us, and look them square in the face. Yes, we're outmaneuvered and face a vicious fight ahead. But pray to the goddess for protection, and her fire will fill your soul and temper your resolve. Our only duty here is to stay alive, be fearful of death, and let not a single soldier fall needlessly. Raise your voices with me now. Let me hear your courage. We will not lose. Wow, these guys aren't backing down. If anything, they actually seem more excited than before. How is that possible? They're completely surrounded. No one will ever reach them in time. Yes, but Count Burglis is their commander. And I'm guessing a lot of those troops are veterans of the Dagda and Bridget War. During that conflict, the Count's troops held off wave after wave of Dagda soldiers right to the very end. Our force must look tame in comparison. Okay, so what now? I wanted this to be clean, but we're looking at a complete bloodbath on both sides. What I want is the upper hand against the Empire, not these people's lives. And there's honor in that, but I don't think they're going to play along. They don't have to accept every part of it. I just thought they might be, you know, scared. Well, so be it. They may have boundless courage, but they don't have boundless food. If Count Burglis wants me to tighten the snare, that's exactly what I'll do.